What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another full day of eating. If y'all have been following along at home, you know that I got sick, pretty sick with COVID about two and a half weeks ago. During that time, I couldn't go to the gym. I spent a lot of time in bed. I ended up gaining a little bit of weight. But alas, we've been following the anabolic diet and it's been working, baby. So now that we're basically back to where we were, I've begun to slowly raise my calories until we're back up to maintenance. I'm still technically in a fat loss phase. But as I always like to say, slow and steady wins the race. You don't wanna raise your calories too quick or drop them too quick. So today, we're gonna do a little raisin. The goal is to finish around 2,200 calories, which is 200 more than I was doing last week. And the protein goal always remains the same. We wanna hit at least 200 grams on the day. And as long as we do those two things, we quite literally can't lose. Today, I'm gonna show you every meal I eat. I'm gonna show you just how easy and delicious this diet can be and just how quick the results come if you follow. All right, guys, I've been yapping long enough and it's breakfast time. So I think it's time to get the show started. Let's do it! Yeah! Someone got a haircut today. Oh, bud, look at handsome, bud. Look at handsome. Put it away. All right, guys, breakfast is gonna be a banger. We're gonna make anabolic blueberry waffles, one of my favorites, and it comes together quickly. In a large mixing bowl, we need 92 grams of egg beaters or egg whites, 170 grams of fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt. We're gonna need 31 grams of vanilla whey protein powder, 27 grams instant pancake mix, two grams baking powder, and then three grams zero-calorie sweetener. Then we'll just give everything a quick whisk. And once it's a thick batter, we'll just toss in 70 grams of blueberries. You can use fresh or frozen here. Then we'll just go ahead and fold them in and it'll be time to cook. Now it's easy. Waffle griddle, a little bit of non-stick. Then we'll just spoon our batter right on here and let the waffle maker do the rest. Breakfast to serve, man. Big old stack of blueberry waffles. I need this today, man. I went to the uh, Drake concert last night. Your boy's a little tired, but it was worth it. So here we go. As always, man, we douse it in that Miss Buttersworth sugar-free syrup. Shouldn't be using any other syrup if you're trying to lose weight. Let me get in here. Let me get a bite off this blueberry one. Ooh, that looks perfect. Three, two, one. Yep, so good. Reminds me of the ones I'd eat as a kid, man. The ones you'd put in the toaster. Except these days, they're not making me chubby. Now, meal one, what we're getting is only 382 calories with two grams of fat, 54 grams of protein, 37 grams of carbs, and four grams of fiber. This, ladies and gentlemen, perfect way to start the day. Doesn't even feel like we're on a diet, man. And as you guys already know, I make all these recipes out of the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, which basically has every single recipe from the channel broken down and easy to use guide to fit right in your pocket. I literally eat out of this thing every single day. So I plan all my meals, how I know what I'm cooking, how I know what I need to buy at the grocery store. I eat out of here. I know I'm getting enough protein. I'm getting less calories because these versions are better. I get to eat more food. It's delicious. Doesn't even feel like we're on a diet, baby. So if you want to check this thing out, hit that link in my description box. I know if you follow us in here, you'll see results no matter what. And every time I drop a new video, a new recipe gets added to the book for free over 350 pages. And it's going to keep growing for the life that you have it. So check that out. The link in the description. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and scarf this down, ladies and gentlemen. And I'll see you guys at the next meal. Let's go. Mm. All right, guys, in the last full day of eating, I told you guys I had a water leak, right? And we had to have plumbers and all that stuff come. Well, the plumbers just came. I got some bad news. They had to, let me just show you. Let me show you. So up here, I got two guest rooms, right? That no one ever stays in. This is the bathroom. Look at this, man. The water damage was so bad. We tried to dry it under there. You guys saw the fans and stuff from the last video. Well, didn't work, man. They had to rip the friggin' tile up. So look at this. We got all this tile ripped up. We got all of this tile ripped up. And they had to rip out all these covers and everything. So now I got to get all of this this replaced along with trim that runs all along the outside and yeah not a good day for your boy so if you're thinking about buying that cookbook get it a bronze will go to a good cause but yeah if y'all uh, ever notice water leaking at all take care of it right away because I, I didn't catch this so i'm never up here right i came up and this sink was overflowing there was no water running or nothing in texas right that black line right there the ac gets vented into the sink drain when no one uses the sink drain that stuff doesn't like flush itself out it kind of just builds up which is what happens so eventually the ac's running this thing filled up hey, yeah man terrible water leak no fun for anybody. Ain't that right, bud? Babe, while we're up here, a little physique update. Check me out. Told y'all. We're getting back to normal. No problem at all. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, baby. So I always say, high protein diet. Get your calorie goal. You're golden. You know what? All these thousands I'm gonna have to spend is making me hungry. So let's go ahead and eat another meal. Since those plumbers took up our time, I think this will do. We're gonna have my latest addiction, this Biscoff cookie butter protein ice cream. Ninja Cream is a game changer. If you wanna know how to make this, watch the video I posted right before this one. I'll have Anthony throw all the ingredients up on a screen in a box. That way you know if you got a creamy, but yeah, things a game changer. Lock it into place, boom, let's take it for a spin. 
Okay, look at that. Perfect consistency. Now we're just gonna add our mix in. We're just gonna take a spoon, create a little hollow center right here, just like that. Then we'll just take the Biscoff cookies, shove them down in there. I normally break them up. We're gonna try not breaking them up. See if it does it for us. Boom. Now just toss this back in, hit the mixing button, and we're in business. Literally, my new obsession, man. Look at that. Pine ice cream. Let me show you this texture here. This is the thing. Literally, exact same texture as ice cream we get out of a pint. And I'm telling you, you make it how I show you. It won't even taste healthy. It's gonna taste like you're eating ice cream. Mm, phenomenal. And the difference, right, if you make it this way, is that instead of maybe you ate other ice cream, it's like a meal, right? You wouldn't really be getting any protein, get lots of sugar. You'd probably just have more cravings afterwards and you'd feel like crap. Massive calorie, fat overload, terrible for your system, insulin spike, all that. You do it this way, you're getting in 32 grams of protein. Protein, the most satiating of all the macros. You're keeping it much lower carb, lower fat. You can actually eat this as a meal. Like I'm telling you guys, a lot of preconceptions we have about diets and what they should be comprised of, right? Nothing says you gotta eat waffles for breakfast. You can eat them for dinner. Nothing says you gotta eat ice cream late at night. You even have this for breakfast. There's no rules. Just hit your protein and calorie goal and you're gonna be good. Now, in this meal, what we're getting is 309 calories, which is nine grams of fat, 32 grams of protein, 25 grams of carbs, and a gram of fiber. Can't really beat that, can you? Mm. Seriously, having these things prepped out and ready to go, game changer. If you watched my last video, essentially I bought a ton of these little containers on Amazon and I just went ahead and uh, prepped a bunch out and they're just in my freezer, ready to go. Just gotta pop them in, few minutes, boom, add the mixes and we're good to go. Really is a game changer appliance. I have some people emailing me asking me if I really thought it was that good. And I ain't lying to you guys, I really friggin' do. So if you're not gonna pick one up, maybe put it on your Christmas list. So on the day right now, we're at about 800 calories, about 80 some grams of protein, doing pretty good. I'm trying to keep things quick, lots of moving parts today. We actually have the contractors that are gonna come like rebuild everything, showing up here any minute. So I need to scarf this down, but uh, you know, I'm gonna assess the damages with you guys. Once they leave, we'll get to eating something else. So I'll see y'all here in a second. Let's go. Mm. All right, folks, contractors just left. I didn't really like what I heard. You gotta do what you gotta do, so. I showed you guys what the upstairs looked like, right? You guys know that. I didn't show you what happened when that water went downstairs and basically affected the downstairs, so I'm gonna show you. All right, so this is my downstairs bathroom right off my bedroom, okay? Check this out. So what they had to do was, when the water came down right, it leaked all over here. Tons of water damage, and it was all uh, moist. So essentially, if we have clips, I'll put them in here. We had all these fans set up right in here, right? It was like dry this whole thing out. Sound like a jet engine taking off. Trying to sleep in there was like trying to sleep next to a fuselage. Wasn't fun. They cut that ceiling out, so what they gotta do is like replace all this, put a new ceiling up. The guys actually broke that too, so they gotta fix that. Hopefully that's free. But yeah, on top of everything upstairs, they gotta fix this as well, which, hey, gotta do what you gotta do. That ain't a good look. Should probably get that taken care of. So basically after their quote and the bill I had to get from Roto Rooter, right? All in, I'm looking at, now it can, it can vary a little bit. It's probably gonna be between roughly six to $8,000, depending on uh, how nice they are to me. So I did give them Anabars. They all got antibars, so that's gotta count for something. And the crazy part is, uh, my insurance deductible is $9,000, so it's like, what you gonna do? Looks like Remy's paying this one out of pocket. Hey man, it is what it is. I promise you guys that like, I mean, I've been dealing with this for a couple weeks now, right? And I promise you on everything, I haven't let this affect me even 1%. As far as like negatively, my work, anything like that. Cause I've come to realize something about life, right? Regardless of if I get worked up about a situation or not, the outcome doesn't change. It stays the same, right? So lately I've been trying to, you know, just don't sweat the small stuff. Not that this is small, but I know that, you know, feeling stressed about it, feeling any type of way about it, it's not gonna do me any good. We're gonna get it done, we're gonna get through it regardless. And yeah, we'll keep focusing on uh, what's important, like this next meal. I'm getting hungry. And my day's been taken up by all this stuff, so we're gonna do something easy and convenient. Man, I believe we are. Yep, we're out of these ones. You can tell which ones are my favorite. And I actually need the calories, so let's do a cookies and cream. I'm screw it, man. Let's do ourselves a sin too. We'll do the white chocolate cinnamon first. Ooh, right down the middle. Hey, we got the cinnamon toast crunch pieces and white chocolate chips in there. It's basically like we're having dessert twice in a row. The best session protein bar, period, period. And then look, the cookies and cream one actually has Oreos and white chocolate chips in there. Man, no one does it like Anabar. Often imitated, never duplicated. Yes, that's how you make a protein bar. Mm. Now, meal three, both the antibars. What we're getting is 555 calories, 22 grams of fat, 40 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber. Bada bing, bada boom. When in doubt, antibar out. Hey, if you want to try the world's best tasting protein bar, we should now be available in every single GNC everywhere. It's only a handful we're not in. You can always check out the store locator. You can find us in HEB stores. You can find us in Hy-Vee. You can find us in a ton of gas stations and supplement shops. And you can always go to theantibar.com. Use my code RGF10. It'll save you money. You really will be getting the world's best tasting protein bar. And I promise you, I'm mean that when I say it. I mean, seriously, how many other ones have white chocolate chips and cookies poking out? Not many. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. It's getting pretty late, and I'm probably, I've been saving a lot of calories today, so probably gonna have a pretty big meal for dinner. I'm gonna make it good for you guys, I promise. So let me do this. See y'all in a little bit.
Mm. All right, folks, for dinner, I'm gonna be making some anabolic chicken fettuccine alfredo. I'm already a little heady. We're making a double batch. I got our 224 grams of fettuccine noodles already boiled, and then I tossed 224 grams of chicken breast in the air fryer, cut it into strips, and we're gonna be throwing that on top. Those are the hardest parts, the rest is easy. We're gonna start by melting 14 grams of light butter in our skillet. And once it's melted, we'll pour in 160 grams of low-fat buttermilk. And we also need 20 grams of white flour. Then we just whisk these together on a medium heat for about 60 seconds until this starts to thicken up. Now that it's thick and bubbling, in goes 28 grams of Parmesan cheese along with a couple grams of dried parsley. Now we're just gonna stir it up until all that cheese is melted and incorporated with our sauce. All right, look at that, nice and thick. What we're gonna do now is toss in our pasta, then we'll toss in our chicken, then we'll just stir everything up until it's all coated. Dinner is served, folks. Massive bowl of chicken fettuccine alfredo. Easy, really, to throw together, all things considered. You guys saw it. People think cooking is complicated. It's not, man. By the time you order that DoorDash or order the food or whatever, you really could have made it just as quick. You'd be doing your body some good, too. Ooh, can't tell me that doesn't look good. Three, two, one. Money, folks, is what I like to call living the life. Mm. And that's the other thing too, man. There's so many misconceptions about dieting. Like you can't eat pasta on a diet, which I really greatly dislike when people use blanket terms like that. Because it's not that the pasta is bad or the bread is bad or whatever. It's that when you eat these types of foods, right? Like traditionally, this is gonna have a ton of fat. They're using full fat butter. They're using full fat buttermilk. They're using a lot more of it. They're not having as much chicken. They're not balancing it right. So in turn, you're eating just pasta, you're getting a ton of calories. But at the end of the day, it's not the pasta making you fat, it's the calories. So that's what I try to tell people. There's this thing is a bad food, only bad ingredients. You can have all the pasta you want so that you're following the rules of the anabolic diet. Mm. I told y'all we had quite a bit of calories left over, so with our double order of chicken fettuccine alfredo, what we're getting, 948 calories, 20 grams of fat, 84 grams of protein, 108 grams of carbs, 12 grams of fiber. Which for me, that's perfect. I like to have a bigger meal at night. I like to go to bed with a full tummy. I don't know about you. I like that. Now, see how close we got to our goals, right? We had up every single meal I ate today. We finished at 2,189 calories. So my goal was 2,200. And for me, as long as I'm within, you know, 50 calories, either over or under, I'm straight. So this is a win. In the macros, we got 53 grams of fat, 200 110 grams of protein, 218 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fiber. So like I told you in the beginning, my goal was 200 grams of protein. We had 210 grams, which perfect for me. I don't care how much protein I get as long as I hit that number or go over. It doesn't matter how much. So right there, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Another day done. A lot of good food eaten. A lot of expensive estimates being made in this house. But yeah, all things considered, man, fantastic day. Mm, I really don't have any complaints. So yeah, I think I'm gonna move this little operation here to the couch, watch a little TV while I finish this. I think it's time for me to send you guys on your merry way. Before I do that, don't forget, you can always grab a copy of the RJF Anabolic Cookbook at the first link in my description box. All my tips, secrets, tricks are in here, right? You eat out of this book, you're guaranteed to be getting in a ton of protein, the lower calorie, better for you versions. I know that if you truly follow us in here, you'll see results no matter what. You just gotta do it. Hit that link down below. If you ever like the clothes I'm wearing, cut off once again. I do love these cutoffs. Look at that dope. We got on the shorts per usual, and I think I'm done showing you guys the briefs. I'm not sure if y'all appreciate that. Younglay.com, my code RJ will save you money. Quite literally, all the way. you might notice I don't work with any other companies, right? I literally don't because I feel like a sellout because a lot of these people promote stuff they don't use, but literally, Young LA, it's all I wear. Men, women, you know, if you try it, you'll love it. You already know. Younglay.com, code RJ. Finally, I'm a personal trainer. I can help you get in shape. I can make a meal plan. I fill the foods like this. Help you towards your goals. I'll bring down all the numbers, calories, everything. All you gotta do is follow it. If that sounds good, visit my website, RamiJaysFitness.com. And that's it, folks. I think we're out of here. Appreciate each and every one of you, as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each other one of you at the next video. See you guys. Wham, bam, 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 baby. Woo, we gone. Mmm. Mmm. You gotta try that. You really gotta try that. <laughs>